Okay, here we have 80 minus 40 divided by 2, which is the correct answer. There are three options, option A, 20, option B, 40 and option C, 60. If you think you know the answer, go ahead and put your answer in the comment section because I am going to solve this problem now. We have 80 minus 40 divided by 2. So let's assume for this expression we need to do the subtraction first. 80 minus 40 is the subtraction. That is the first step that we need to do in this problem. And we all know that 80 minus 40 is equal to 40. And then we can't forget we are dividing by 2 on the right side of the expression. So we have 40 divided by 2 and we know that 40 divided by 2 is equal to 20. So we get the final answer for this problem of 20. So now I'm going to work out this same exact problem one more time. All right, the same problem we are going to do one more time. So we have 80 minus 40 divided by 2. So now instead of doing subtraction first, we are going to do the division first. 40 divided by 2 is going to be the first step we do in this problem. And we all know 40 divided by 2 is equal to 20. And we can't forget about the left side of this expression. This 20 is being subtracted from 80. So now we have 80 minus 20 and we know that 80 minus 20 is equal to 60. So now let's take a look at what just happened. We worked out the same exact problem two times and we got two separate answers. And this is not okay in the world of mathematics. One of the nice things about a mathematical expression like this is that there is only one correct answer and this is why we have to have the order of operations. The order of operations allows us to work out any problem and we are always going to come up with one answer if you perform the order of operations correctly. So this is my brief introduction and now I'll explain to you how we actually use the order of operations. The first of our list of the order of operations is parenthesis. The first thing we must do is to get rid of the parenthesis. Second on our list is exponents. If you don't know what an exponent is, don't worry about it. And the third of our order of operations is multiplying and dividing. And after you multiply and divide, our fourth order of operation is adding and subtracting. And if you have any problem of memorizing this, think of the word PEMDAS. P-E-M-D-A-S. That is the first letter of all steps. P parenthesis, E exponents, M multiply, D divide, A add, is subtract. Okay, so let's use this order of operations to solve this expression. So our first step is parenthesis. There are no parentheses in this expression. So we can move on to our next order of operation. Our next order of operation is exponents. Since we don't have any exponents in our expression, we can move on to our next order of operation, which is multiplying and dividing. And notice we have 40 divided by 2. We know 40 divided by 2 is equal to 20 and the rest of our expression stays the same. And now we can move on to our last order of operation, adding and subtracting. 80 minus 20 is equal to 60. So our final answer for this expression is equal to 60. So option C is the correct answer. I hope this gave you a better idea of the order of operations and my next video I am going to go over a more difficult example where we have parentheses and exponents. So stay tuned for that. I really hope you are enjoying this and I will see you in my next video.